Meghan Markle Fury, Royals unhappy that Harry is favorite, friend exposes rift origin. Meghan Markle has confided in friends that she and Harry are being singled out by royal family members and palace aides, after Sussex royal brand ban. The Duchess has confessed to pals that she believes the palace's restrictions are payback for the pair quitting the firm. It is alleged that she made the complaints to friends before the couple released a shocking statement that declared the Queen doesn't own the word royal. Meghan said that, she and Harry, were left with no choice but to make a public statement, a friend told the Mail Online. She said if anyone should feel insulted, it should be them. They never intended to capitalize on the word royal, and to insinuate they were somehow abusing their privileges is absurd. The friend added, Meghan is going straight to London, not Edinburgh because that's Harry's thing. She said she and Harry will continue to rise above jealousy and pettiness and focus on the good they are creating and on being the best parents to Archie. She said she will continue to champion Harry because out of everyone, he has the most integrity and the most loyalty. The source added that Meghan believes the Queen was under pressure to make those demands about the name change because Harry is the Queen's favorite and others just can't deal with it. Her father Thomas Markle has also waded into the ongoing argument over Sussex royal brand dispute. In an interview with TMZ Mr Markle raged, I'm very upset with Harry and Meghan right now. They don't have a right to speak to the Queen the way they've spoken to her. I think it's an insult to the Queen and the British people. The upset comes after Meghan and Harry continued to associate themselves with the word royal despite no saying they would no longer formally use their HRH titles after stepping down. There have been tense negotiations over the couple's Sussex royal branding that appears on their website and social media. The pair had spent thousands trademarking the name to use on various merchandising and media. However, from March 31st, Meghan and Harry will no longer have the authority to use the term royal for any promotional material or appearances after the Queen forbid it. A statement on their Sussex royal website reads, While the Duke and Duchess are focused on plans to establish a new non-profit organization, given the specific UK government rules surrounding use of the word royal, it has been therefore agreed that their non-profit organization will not utilize the name Sussex royal or any other iteration of royal. For the above reason, the trademark applications that had been filed as protective measures and that reflected the same standard trademarking requests as done for the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, have been removed. The statement continued, while there is not any jurisdiction by the monarchy or cabinet office over the use of the word royal overseas, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not intend to use Sussex royal or any iteration of the word royal in any territory either within the UK or otherwise, when the transition occurs spring 2020. From April 1, instead of undertaking engagements in support of the Queen, they will be represented via their UK foundation, according to their spokesperson. It was also announced that Prince Harry has stopped using his royal title. The news was delivered on stage at Edinburgh Waverley Station on Tuesday night, prior to the Duke speaking at an ecotourism conference on Wednesday. Former Labour adviser and broadcaster Aisha Hazarika, introduced Harry to the crowd, telling delegates, he's made it clear that we are all just to call him Harry. So ladies and gentlemen, please give a big, warm, Scottish welcome to Harry.